Professor Abdel El Amira, a member of the Nobel Committee. How would you summarize what this year's Nobel Prize was awarded for? This Nobel Prize has been awarded for our ability to sense heat, cold and touch. And this Nobel Prize for the discovery is made in a way to, discover, to find the receptors that sense changes in temperature and also change when touch each other and get in contact with each other. And receptor is a bit complicated a word. If you were to explain the discovery to a child, uh, what would you say? So, when we are, uh, when there is a change in temperature, there are sensors in our skin that are sensing these changes either when there is like a sunny, a burning sun, or if you put your hand in a cold water, those sensors are being activated and they are formed by these receptors that were discovered. In addition, when we touch each other, there are other receptors that are activated and sense, convert the touch into nerve signals sent to the brain. How would you say does this discovery affect our lives? Without these channels, we will not be able to protect ourselves. If we put our hand in a burning, in a fire, these receptors send information to our brain and tell us to avoid touching a burning place. In addition, these are for the temperature sensing receptors. The touch sensing receptors are also important for giving us information where our body parts are placed in space. And without them, we will not be able to stand, we will not be able to touch and feel our surroundings. And why is this discovery being awarded now? Recognized now, sorry. Why is it recognized now? This is a very, the discovery has been made uh, more than a decade, these two discoveries were made more than a decade ago. But it's probably just the right time for this discovery to be recognized because it has profoundly changed our view of how we sense the world around us. Um, is this research in any way uh, connected to helping us fight COVID-19? Well, as you know, during, this is not directly related to COVID, but as you know, during the last year, we have been socially distancing from each other. We have missed the sense of touch, the sense of the warmth that we give to each other, like during a hug. And during a hug, when hugging each other, these are the receptors that give us that feeling of the warmth and the, the closeness to each other. So if we turn to the laureates, uh, what can you tell us about the two laureates? What can I tell about the laureates? The laureates, yes. Well, the laureates are very uh, established and fantastic researchers that have really transformed our view. They have set up to really unlock one of the mysteries of nature. In other words, how, what are the sensors that allow us to interact with the outside world? And they have been working with really a lot of vision and the hard work to be able to, to make, make these uh, important discoveries. And uh, the name David Julius, what was his part of this work? David Julius was mostly interested in understanding how we sense the burning heat that is given by the chili pepper when we eat a hot, uh, a hot food, for example. And he found the receptor that is sensing this uh, uh, chili or capsaicin, which is the active compound. And he realized soon after when he discovered the receptor that the receptor also is sensing heat. And it's a thermosensitive receptor. Arden Putin wants to know which are the receptors that are allowing us to sense touch and mechanical change in the force on our body or our skin. And then he was important, made the important discovery for uh, finding the piezo channels. And I understand that uh, Thomas Perman has been uh, be, uh, able to get in touch with them. What did they say when they got the call? Uh, he just talked with them uh, briefly uh, because it was very hard to find. And then they were basically overwhelmed and surprised by the fact that they were awarded this year a uh, Nobel Prize. But they were, of course, delighted and happy. And finally, uh, could you please, in 30 seconds, tell me why are you excited by this year's prize? Well, this is one of the fundamental functions of our 
body. And this is the way our nervous system gets to know what is happening in the outside world. And this is how our, what makes us basically who we are by transforming, reacting to the outside environment and getting to adapt our behavior and uh, also our interactions. Thank you very much. Thank you.